deep learning is, is, is real deep learning. It's, it's, it's flying, it's, it's, it's movement, it's energy. It is about creating the, um, a systematic way of helping teachers cultivate these higher order skills in students, which are the skills that are most important for career and civic life. I think one of the things that's so important with NPDL's model is moving away from individual teachers, creating you know, successful practices and moving to really this cluster model of scalable change. I see an opportunity of reaching more countries than we reach today because the countries that are engaged today are doing really, really well, but we need more countries to be engaged. And with a new model of NPDL where smaller groups of schools can get engaged per country, I see that as a huge opportunity. What's uh, new about deep learning is actually taking it into practice. It's like we've, we've heard about new pedagogies before and kind of like we feel related to some of the um, main uh, phrases of it, but actually like the tools to take that into practice, in today, today practice, that is something that's really new for us. The thing for us about NPDL is that we're kind of working towards getting it to be a mindset rather than an initiative. So I think if we can get to the point where teachers and administrators in the, in the senior administration table see uh, new pedagogies as just a way of thinking, um, it'll start to permeate other areas of our learning. We may have some practices we feel that are not that impactful, so those may have to may, maybe do less or stop doing overall. So what is the things we do more? What are the things we do less? What is the total new things we need to do that we are not doing today? And what are the things that we absolutely have to stop doing? And that's the hard question. And I would say that without having that decision, that okay, this is what we leave behind, this is no longer needed, so that we can have more time for deep learning, we can do more, we can achieve more with a given even you know, hours of the day. And, and that's the hard discussion. But without making those decisions, we are just trying to add more layers to the cake and it's, it's not possible. The big progress I'm seeing is people's um, uh, engagement with the ideas about what does it mean to be deep? What does deep learning look like? Uh, and challenging themselves and their understandings about um, if we only make a slight change, is that making deep progress? Uh, and they're actually engaging and interrogating real ideas of what is learning? Um, how do we learn? How do we design learning environments to ensure that our students can flourish and seriously engaging with what it means? That for me is really what excites, uh, excites me and energises me to come here and feel all these people are trying to actually engage with what does it mean to learn. I've not been involved in such a stimulating project before that really gets you thinking at a deep level, um, which is kind of good given the at the project, but it's at a very deep level about what learning looks like, what learning is, what teaching is, what pedagogy really is and ought to be. And so um, it, it is really creating a movement. I would just say join the movement. Um, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Uh, not only will you be inspired, but you will be a huge source of inspiration um, and empowerment for your teachers, for your school leaders, and for your system. It makes a difference.